everyone, I'm Jesse Bulquist. And I'm James Bull. We're researchers from the University of Calgary. Thank you for agreeing to be part of our research efforts. This video will show you how to take a DNA sample from a finfish, and we use these samples to investigate the genetics of populations of wild fish. So, to take a DNA sample from a finfish, you'll need two things. You'll need a DNA sampling kit. Ours looks like this, but yours may look slightly different. And you'll need a finfish. Now, what fish is appropriate for a certain study will depend on the study, and the written instructions in your kit will tell you what species the study you're involved in is targeting. When you're selecting a fish for taking a fin clip from, try to select a fish that's as fresh as possible, and avoid fish that might have fins that are damaged from fin rot or fungus. Um, also, when you're selecting your fish, please identify the fish down to species level if you can, and if you need taxonomic resources for help with this, please see the link provided. So this is the contents of one of our DNA sampling kits. There are two main components. This data sheet, where you record information about each sample, and on the back it has written instructions for sampling, and the DNA preservation tubes. So each tube contains a volume of a preservative. This preservative isn't harmful, but it can be a bit of an irritant, so avoid getting it on your skin, or ingesting it. And each tube is labelled with a number and also contains a small slip of paper with that sample number. The reason being the preservative might uh, wipe the number off the outside of this tube. So in addition to those two main components we have gloves which will both protect you from the preservative as well as ensure that your DNA doesn't end up in the sample. We have bleach wipes for wiping off the implement that you'll take the sample with. Bleach is very good at destroying DNA. Um, you have alcohol swabs for further cleaning instruments, as well as a paper measuring tape for taking the length of your fish. <laughs> In addition to these elements, you'll also need to get a pair of scissors or a knife to take the sample of fin, as well as a pen to fill out the DNA sample sheet. So the first step in sampling a fin clip from your fish is to put on protective gloves. This will again prevent DNA contamination of your fin clip sample and protect you from the preservative that we're using for the fin clips. Then you're going to take your scissors or knife and sanitize them before sampling your, your clip. So first wipe them off with a paper towel to remove any debris or dirt. And then you're going to take a bleach wipe from the kit and thoroughly wipe down your knife or scissors. So bleach will kill any contaminating DNA on the scissors, and we're going to actually leave it for one minute to make sure that all the DNA is taken off. After a minute, you can take an alcohol swab from the kit, and we're going to wipe off any remaining bleach on the scissors, because we don't want the bleach to actually degrade any DNA in the fin clip that we're taking. So then you're going to take your preservation tube, and you want to select a fin on your fish that is in good quality and you're going to take about a quarter sized piece of tissue. So for example, I'm taking this from the tail fin here. I would simply cut off a sample and then submerge it in the preservative. Between fish, if you're sampling multiple fish at one time, you would again bleach these scissors and then alcohol swab them once more. So in addition to the DNA sample you've just taken, we're collecting several other pieces of information about each fish sampled, which allows us to best uh, analyze these populations. So these pieces of information will be recorded on the data sheet that comes in your kit, and they include the ID number, which will match the ID number on the tube, and that allows us to link this sample to the other information about the fish, the time and date the fish was sampled, the species of fish, and the sex of the fish, if you can tell that. We're also like you to record the length, and we're using something called fork eye length, which is the distance from the middle of the eye to the fork in the tail. We'd like you to record whether or not there is an adipose fin present. An adipose fin is a fin on the back of some fish, including many salmonids, roughly here. Hatchery-born individuals often have this fin removed to identify them as hatchery-born, 
and this is a piece of information we'd like to know. <coughs> we'd also like you to record the location the fish was caught. If you have access to GPS coordinates, say through your phone, that would be ideal. If not, a detailed written description is also super helpful. And then we have two other pieces of information that you can provide if you'd like to, but are not necessary. The first is a picture of the fish. Uh, just take a picture with whatever you have available and send it to the email address on the back of the sheet. And then there's contact email, uh, details, your name and email, if you'd like to provide that to hear about where this research ends up. After finishing sampling your fish, please return all the contents back to the Ziploc bag and you can turn the kit to the location that is actually indicated on the back of the sampling sheet. Thank you again for being involved in our project and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to address them to the email included in the kit. Thank, Thank you, you again. again. Bye.